Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Thinking Scrubs podcast. I'm your host, Raymond, and with me today is our special guest, Paolo. Hi, Paolo. Hi. Hi, everyone. And today we're watching a battle recap of the X-Wing Philippines Season 3 League Finals. Man, that's a mouthful. We really should do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And guess who's playing in the finals for this uh, recap? It's none other than me and you. <laughs> yes, what a coincidence. And actually, there's something, I already seen something wrong with this broadcast. It's that uh, the initiative should be with you, right? You think you went first. Or did I go first? Uh, yeah, I think the initiative is with me. I have a lot more ships that are lower initiative. So, yeah, I think this is about right. Okay. So, it's no surprise to the viewers that this is uh, a, a battle that's already gone. So, don't be surprised when we refer to stuff in the future and say, Hey, how do you know that? You know, it's... <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> It's us. We played this game, and so we'll just be um, going through this game, seeing where we got lucky, where we messed up, and stuff like that. So, referring to the season three league finals. So, how do you? What was your general take on the season three in general, Pau? I thought it was very interesting because with the previous two seasons, it's usually every player out for himself. So players, for, for my experience anyway, I would be secretive on what kind of list I'm playing and try to guess the meta. It's basically you against the world. Whereas in Season 3, there's a team and it's, it's uh, very affirming to have people on your team discuss your tactics, what you need to work on. It, I think it's helped me grow more as an exit player by having people I can play with and know that they have my back. Wow, that's great to hear, Pao. I'm so glad to hear you say that. So hopefully we can continue something like this format in the next season. And I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll work out the kinks because I'm sure that there has been challenges. Of course, this season, I think number one being availability of players, and so this season we made it into a team format wherein there would be a person matched up with each other player on each team, but of course there that person will not always be available to schedule with you or something like that, right? Uh huh. So if I recall, I think um, you you guys had one forfeit on your team, or yeah. Oh, sorry. It was, yeah, one one. Luckily, it was just one match, but so there oh, was yeah. one. Yeah. Ma- yeah, I think that was with Hesed and Carlo. I think. Yeah. Was, was that? One? Yeah. Uh, so, mm-hmm. That was pretty lucky that we just won, but definitely something we can work on the next season. And yeah, but mm-hmm. go ahead, Pao. Uh, it's it's a problem. I think it's not just specific for this season. I mean, I've played other leagues in other team formats. Uh, availability is always an issue. I you guys are doing well, I think, because there's always this fine line of giving players too much time and then they'll just waste it and then not giving them enough time and then they'll cram. But yeah, I think the time you gave for season three was fair it just got harder because it's it was happening last quarter of the year and you know um there's usually a code freeze or free christmas rush that the offices are trying to get ahead of so yeah i think people were just really busy it's just the time of the year fair enough thank you for your feedback pao and yeah, like I said, hopefully we can improve upon this on the next season. And great job on um, leading your team, of course. Your team has been consistent in winning, unlike our team, <laughs> which is we just uh, com- we were 
we were lucky enough to get into the finals match with your team. Was oh, there a lot of collaboration on your finals lists? Um, yeah, uh, usually uh, I would ask people what their preferred lists were. We, you know, we talk about that and then we also do some discussions on their opponents, what, uh, what we think, what our perception of their opponent's behavior is, or how are they aggressive, are they super passive, etc. So yeah, just um, just some coaching and then specifically with her nanny because uh, we would play every Wednesday night at gaming library in Shan. So I knew I want to pick him for my team because it's someone uh, I could I, I will be practicing every every week for the for the for the league. But yeah, um yeah, that, that's just it mostly. Um, it's, you know, discussion and tactics and strategies and having a group of people you can openly discuss those with and know that they, it won't be used against you. It's It was very nice. Well, to be honest, in our end, we were focused, I think in our team at least, we were focused a lot on our list building more of stra- than compared to, stra- to movement strategy or things like that. Was there any particular matchup that you were afraid of during this finals? Uh, hmm. Well, nobody wanted to face Ellie with the four Vipers, that's for sure. Ah, yes, the quad Vipers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we don't have any uh, we, didn't, we didn't have any counter for it, so I, I unfortunately had to make the call to um, to sacrifice one of our players to Ellie and hope and bet and hedge that the remaining players will pull their weight and uh, get us the victory. But and uh-huh. it worked, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it worked, but. There was never any time during the season that, oh yeah, this is this is so going to work. It was always, um, it was always so close. The thing is, um, even though we have tournament results, there's player hierarchies. The the what do you call this? The difference in skill level is very very small. So it's just because someone's consistently at the top doesn't mean that. You can always consistently beat them. That's which is something I like about the game. It's always exciting. It's never dull. Na, oh my God! It's this person again to the same list. So I know what I'm gonna do. And personally, for me, I admittedly feel that I've grown as a player this season as well, thanks to all the color collaboration I've done with my fellow teammates as well. I mean, they've helped me see, hey, you should be doing this or do that, and so and so forth. Uh-huh. I hope you guys had that as well. Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. We really enjoyed that format, and I, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, it's a nice change of pace, and you know, having to prepare by yourself for a tournament. It's nice to have people to, you know, talk, talk shop openly. Fair enough. Fair enough. And while we were talking, the games actually started, and we're already five minutes in. So, <laughs> <All right. laughs> let's talk about your list then, since we're talking about how did you guys come up with this list versus my list? I mean, thinking that you were going to, you knew that you were going to battle with me. So, what was the logic behind this list? Okay, uh, the logic is simple. Um, with my experience playing X-Wing, one thing that I've learned to my, to, to you know, it's happened so much that it's branded into my brain is when in doubt, use a list that you're very familiar with. And this with this list, I've had 22 games with it. So I know the triggers, I know I know how to play it. I know that you're a rebel player and you would go for something beefy and efficient. And I'm not a good ace player and I don't have a good swarm so I just you know what the heck I'll I'll just go with the list I know best and then from there 
see how it goes. Fair enough. And it's actually a pretty cool list. Like, they're all named pilots. They all have awesome abilities. Uh, even Finn, though he was uh, nerfed a bit, he's still pretty good. Yes, and yes. Yeah, he is. And hopefully they don't raise his points in the next update. <laughs> I'm oh. kind of expecting it. Maybe a few points. Oh, and we should greet our viewers a happy new year, by the way. It's 2020, so... Yay! Yay! Happy new year, everyone! Happy new year. And so... Um, in my perspective, preparing for this match, I knew you were definitely going to go Resistance. So the question on my end was whether or not you'd go maybe all fives or Jess and the boys. Because uh, you do like to mix it up a bit. I just know that there were, the only thing I was sure of for me, that there were going to be at least two X-Wings. I think that's been your consistent thing, at least <laughs> in my experience. Okay. So that's why, um, to, just to guarantee that in case, uh, because I feared Resistance Fives um, would, if I went like with B-Wings or other ships, in, if you if you notice some of the other um, rebel lists like with B wings and Garvin or whoever, or they usually start at four, right? Yes. And I was afraid if you went resistance fives, I would get out initiative all the time. So uh... that's why I went with a five and higher list, with my only exception being Jake. Yeah, but it's a nice list. I like it. It's uh, I was actually expecting you would maybe use the same list as Peter, the one used by Daniel Taylor in the World Finals. So that was that was pretty scary. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw Pete's list. Um, to be uh, like I said, I to, at fighting someone that who could in the resistance at least who could load up um, ace pilots so easily. I was afraid that I'd get out initiative and. Outgunned. In case, in case you've noticed in that list as well, that was his weakness as well, right? The his Z95s would move first, then his in Imperial fives would just outmaneuver them any chance they got. True. Yeah. And that's been a fear of mine, especially um, in this recent league. So that's why I try to go higher as much as I can, even though I bear I barely have any upgrades on my ships. As you can see. Yeah, but they all work together. And yes, I, I agree with you. Playing with a swarm or an efficiency list, the kryptonite has always been aces who can move after you. But, you know, for me, it's always interesting. But uh, I've dabbled with aces, particularly for Dabron, for a while. And it was interesting to play at the other end of the game. At the other side of the board, rather, where you know it's not like the the margin for error is so thin. So, I by playing with an ace for a while, I was able to think better on what the best moves would be for a list that has lower initiative, like mine, which the highest is four. And basically, the when in doubt, just go slow and let the ace make the mistakes. That's, 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 that's what it's like, yeah. And I think what's great about this list you have here is that they're stronger together and there's no way you're probably gonna break that that formation early on. So either it's either you lose a ship or either you uh, or your opponent loses a ship. It's really just a game of chicken at this point. <laughs> X-Wing chicken. <laughs> yeah. So... And... Uh -huh. Yeah, looking at this um, approach, um, actually, at, I I took a very conservative approach. I don't know if you noticed, most of my ships went one forward in the start. Then you turned right. Yes. And then now you uh, made another turn to head back to the other direction. Uh huh. So, actually, I, I thought I thought you were still gonna keep on going forward. That's why. I kind of went charging a bit ahead <laughs> because uh, I thought you're still that, gonna push forward. 
No, you, you did that in a previous game. I know you, you would. You had a tendency, tendency to pounce. If I try to run away, you would pounce. So, initially, when we were setting up, I picked the corner, and then in my mind, I don't want to just straight on. And my mistake was I should have deployed in the center, so I have more wiggle room. By deploying in a corner, if I'm going to run away, I knew you're going to pounce. So, um. My initial turn to the right was a mistake. I thought, oh, oh, oh wow, he went slow, maybe he could go. But then again, this is Raymond. I remember, I remember one game where Raymond passed on my list while we were running away. So I, I took the least worst option, which was to turn left and hopefully have that victory as, um, as a protection against your list. Yep, and if you can actually see, like most of my ships are heading towards not where your ship is. Luckily, they still caught them, but they're mostly headed towards closer to the middle, supposedly, where I expected you to be. Yeah. <laughs> so it got lucky there, actually, that at least I was still in range of your ships. And so, yep, and I think here we have the first engagement. My goal here was hopefully trying to take out one ship, but as you can see, I mean, Finn, I think I was thinking here, Finn is the only viable oh. target, but you know, Finn is like super hard to kill. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I, was, I felt here, actually, I was very forced to, t to attack Finn. I, I understand what you mean. I mean, it was either a choice of um, pot shotting everyone or focus firing on someone even though you know that's what your opponent wants. It's, it's, it's a hard choice. I would have the same call actually. So I would actually say in this first position I think you would you actually have the advantage here. I think yes. most of your ships have the best arc on. Uh, if I were you I'd probably be shooting Hera because she's thin. But let's see first. So, Wedge is going to try to shoot at Finn. See all the decision making, uh -huh. taking my time and using my hair gel dice cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hopefully, and uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty average. average. Yeah. So two hits for Wedge. And Finn will counter with. Oof. Man, oh yeah, I... <laughs> right. Who needs to strain? <laughs> and then, of course, the five shoot next. Let's see who I go for. I think Hera should no. Yeah, see, once again, Wedge didn't make an impact, so I am once again stuck and thinking who should I shoot at. Yeah, Finn is, Finn is so so hard to kill, and yet. He's the most tempting target. How is that so? <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's the most ships have the have the most art on Finn. And yeah. It it did suck that, you know, that Wedge didn't push in at least one damage. Hopefully I move a token to make it easier for the others. Okay, once again, no damage on Finn. Yeah. Yeah, I know this time I was... I... I... I was, I was not expecting to roll that well. I... I was expecting to lose Finn, actually. Good, again, good thing... Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, good thing Finn is a Force user. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, wait, now. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Oh. No, and they're not spoilers. I mean, that's just, you know, my speculation. Of course, that's not confirmed or anything. Don't take yes. my word for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, they were kind of hinting it because he was able to use the lights, was holding a lightsaber on episode 7. He stood on his own against Kylo Ren for a while, which is hard to do. Unless, you know, there's maybe something, something going on. Fair enough, yeah. Well, I always thought that if they, 
I was thinking if in parallel to episode 4, he was supposed to be like the Chewy. If Poe was supposed to be like Han Solo, he was supposed to be like uh-huh. Chewy, the semi. Cool, uh, the, he's well, he's semi comic relief ish, but also the guy that you relate to. Yeah, that yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, he was a comic. Uh, he did. He was comic relief for, with episode seven, but they kept Chewy, so you know you can't have two characters doing the same role. Fair enough. And I think, are we done with my shots? I think all of my missed anyway, so... <laughs> I think you're gonna start yeah. shooting and bringing on the pan. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really came in. And yeah, as you said, uh, I did want to shoot at Hera, primarily for the reason that most of my ships have arcs on her. And that's three full hits. And Hera yeah. rolls, I think... Uh, that's a blank. I think there's a focus in there. Maybe uh, you know, that was probably horrible. So. Oh yeah, it is a focus. So yeah, I use. I I decide to use just the focus. So I still take one. I think. I take. Two. I think. That's three Two. hits, right? Or yeah. Did yeah. I did I roll one? Uh, I think it was one blank and two focus results. If I'm. Uh, uh, I didn't get a card yet, so I think it's just one hit so far. Yeah, he definitely lost a shield. Yeah. No hull yet. Next, so I guess, that... would be Jess. Yes. Now using yeah. her ability. Yeah, rerolls. Oof. Yeah, it didn't do much. Okay, that's two hits versus Hera's uh-huh. two. Oh, nice. Okay, one. And I get one eyeball, so. Did I... I... What do I do here? Do I spend my evade? I'm, ch- I'm worried checking the range... Actually, actually, this is wrong with me. I shouldn't have checked the range of the other people. Yeah. It's Wait, something why didn't I... Well. Why didn't I deal damage? No damage? Sure. I rolled... Did I roll two hits? To evade. Okay, so okay, so I must have rolled to evade. Two. Now three versus Hera. Uh, Hera still, I guess. That's a focus. Yeah, I think uh, we went all in on Hera. Okay, and now I'm I definitely think... getting. I'm definitely getting damage there. Cause... Okay, that's hey, when I didn't get damage there. No, I spent the fo- evade. And that's fair. Training. Okay. I get another eyeball. Spend the focus. Okay. I get three hits. Uh-huh. Good. <clears throat> does Hera survive? Yeah, I, Hera, I guess Hera does survive this turn. Maybe it was the yeah. next turn that she does badly. Maybe okay, reroll let's... one. Oh boy, it's out. I get. Man, I should have fixed the camera. So, uh, yeah, so I get hit one, two, so yeah, Hera down to one. Yes. By all accounts, she should, should, I think she should be dead. She maybe got lucky and won. Yeah, I think it evens out. Um, it, I don't get any damage and I don't get to kill one ship. So I think it's, that's just fair. Oh, you're right. Um, so I have to call myself out. Uh, for this, at this part of the game, I forgot to turn my... I forgot to close. I opened my s files. Yes. Yes. And so... It, uh, it's... It, it's fine. I mean... I think you intended to, but you just forgot to, right? Yes. But, you know, um... It's an actual game. It's an official game, and... Yeah, oh, I, I still should have followed the rules. I uh, I don't have any tokens, so we would be, should be referring on the cards. But yeah, uh, usually when I make mistakes, I'm more harsh on myself. So no worries. It's uh, yeah, 
definitely we should get you some of those tokens as well <laughs> those flip tokens <laughs> right do you make some of those yeah I, I got mine from raf oh right 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 oh yeah let's uh, let's plug uh fire uh, fire fire tokens for all your local philippine x-wing needs <laughs> yes proud sponsor of the x-wing philippine season three all right too bad yeah, we yeah. Didn't, yeah too bad we didn't get to use our range our fancy range one our sorry our bullseye arc thing all right right yeah we don't really have any abilities that rely on the bullseye unfortunately I, I, I love the uh, the jam and the chapter tokens <laughs> in the calculates. They were very, very cute. Just yeah, wanted to know what they were for. Yeah. So, um, at this point, I think, of course, advantages to you. Yeah. You Hera is basically bleeding right now. All your ships, I don't think, has been hit yet. So, what's going through your mind during this play? Okay, uh, first things first is I wanted to go slow and not go into range 1 of Nora. Second, I wanted to spread out and catch Hera. And I was worried that she would go forward and back to the left. So, yeah, that, so my first move there was to have him turn to the right and hopefully catch Hera. Fair enough. And in my mind is that I need to get Hera out of there. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's all I was just really thinking. Like Hera, okay, Hera needs to get out of there. Where's the safest place for it? So I dialed in a red maneuver for Hera. Uh -huh. That's basically what I did here. And um I, and with the ability of Leia now activating differently thanks to the rules update. Change my dial because I revealed a red maneuver. Yeah, I totally forgot about that one. Well, yeah, I only re found out about it recently as well. Although, for me, it has a lot more cons and pros because, like, Hera with Yen Num doesn't work anymore, though. That's sad. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah uh. But Yeah, but, you know, for this match, it worked out. It's a ship that has high initiative, and you can see what my moves are first, and adjust accordingly. So, uh, the hero was a good call for this match. Well, luckily, that I was just lucky that you picked um, ships that are on lower initiative. But if you were higher, Hera would actually have no effect. She'd probably be dead. But, yeah. So right now, I think what happened here. Well, if you could have changed your maneuver here, would you? I yeah, I would have just gone one forward with him. <laughs> but I was worried about Hera going zooming past the squad to her left, so. I took the risk of turning with him, but as you pointed out at the end of the game, that was my worst mistake because that took pin out for the end of the game. Well, we'll see. I mean, for the viewers, <laughs> <that we'll laughs> see right. what happens next. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, spoilers. But yeah, uh, yeah, I think um, I should have taken to the fact that the pod has doesn't have a lot of great maneuvers. So I shouldn't have compounded a red maneuver with a degree cloud which doubles with double uh double stress pain. So that would have taken me out of the fight for at least two rounds. Sorry, so is spins right turn a red? All red all right turns are red. Or does he no, have like uh, uh, yeah, the, the two screens are white. I took the hard one, which is a red. I, maybe I should just have taken the two. But yeah, for this one, for some reason, I chose one. 
uh, actually that was a sigh of relief on my end. I was like, oh, okay, no fin, no fin today. And then, oh yeah, but because of pattern analyzer, you're still able to do your action. Yes, that's, that's why that one. Yeah, that was a big gamble. That was a that's actually a pretty good move, you know. I I wouldn't. I I think you I think you did. didn't you catch anyone. I think so. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's it, that was a gamble because um sometimes uh, most of the time I play safe, but sometimes I do one place one crazy move that's not safe just to surprise an opponent, and this was such a this is one of those times and. Unfortunately, it may or may not work. And then, yeah, they started bumping. I, that was unexpected. So you expected just to pass through there? Yeah, I should have uh, visualized the hard one better. Because it's a maneuver I don't, I don't do a lot. So yeah, I should have, uh, I should have thought it, I should have thought about it better. Oh, sorry, that was Bastion. So now Jess will move. And does she bump? Oh, she actually bumps? Did she bump? Yeah, she bumps. On her... Yeah, I wanted to block her in case she went to the right. Oh, wait. I think it didn't bump because she put down the token. So that's actually good. Oh, wow, well, yeah. I was hoping to bump her, so... Don't look, look. Why did you want Jess yeah. to bump? To block Nora? Yeah, maybe. So, and, and if Nora flies away, someone will be moving forward. So hopefully catch that person. Oh, what's but that? yeah. Okay, so that's Temin coming in, and okay. now, and this is what I love. Basically, Jake, Jake's ability yeah. is so awesome. How did I do this again? Uh, you were battle going and boosting and giving focuses away. That was really nice. Yeah. And to be honest, I didn't even really care if Jake died. <laughs> because he is like... he's costs as much as like an AP5. Almost. I mean, not, a bit more expensive, of course. But pretty much like a sheet of pu shot a shuttle that was coordinating. That's interesting because I want man I was hoping to kill Jake because I've had experiences before where it's really impossible to kill the heavy hitters without whittling down the support chips first so I knew Nora was going to be a pain and where she was going to keep taking the bites out of my squad so if it if I wasn't going to shoot uh, Hera, yeah, let's maybe try and go for Jake. Well, Jake's not that easy to kill either. I mean, he's got three evades. And True. And like they have focus all the time. Wait, what happens now? Oh, I think, uh, who's this? Was that Hera? Oh, okay, we're... No, 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 it's Jake. We're... I'm just checking his range one if who I can give another focus to. Yeah. And yeah, we're trying to see if it fit. I don't think it fits. Did it? I mean i I mean sure it should not fit for me to give a focus. So I think it slid through, so no focus for Nora, I think. And Hera's still stressed, so no focus for her either. And we're just too far away. Yep, so I'm right, so yeah. No, no focus. Next is Hera. So once again, I think I pushed that. I think it was a key turn, and then you switched it up. To a three turn, I think. Yeah, you definitely moved past me. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you were measuring a K turn, but I changed it. Uh huh. That, that's the beauty of Hera. Last. Oh yeah, three turning out, marking, marking Jess. Uh huh. And to be honest, I actually wasn't sure if Hera would make it because there was a, I wanted the reds to ensure her survival. But I could have gone to the left side either if you guys pointed the other way though. <laughs> yeah. I, in this instance, I think I, at the time, I thought you would want Hera to move to the left instead because it gives you more space to run away. But yeah, you made the correct call to try and go for the corner because that was the obvious move. Okay, and this no. Okay, so I did trigger Leia, but um, they made K turn. Uh, two of my ships went red maneuvers, and obviously won't fit. I think so. He'll just push forward. She'll just push forward. I mean. Oh wait, does she fit? Hmm, that's a good question. Oh, she actually did fit. That's interesting. Uh, I kind of wish she didn't fit, to be honest, because now... <laughs> Why? Because yeah, Finn's there, in front of her. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. And I'm stressed with no... Wait. Should be no... Oh, wait, so I did... Oh, wait, so I guess the focus did get... I did, I was able to give a focus earlier. Yeah, I really should get a higher angle on this camera next time. Feel like on the other side we're missing stuff. Okay, so Wedge just did a simple one forward or bank just to see really where to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one speed to victory. Wedge versus someone. Still not great, still not great, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, well, I have nothing to say, you know, two hits, range one, that's pretty less, a little less than average. Yeah, it should have been two hits and an eyeball, maybe. And because at, yeah, at range one, you're expecting Wedge to be the leaping ships left and right. I was shooting at Jess, I think? Hmm. Ah. Is that Jess? Yeah, that's Jess. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one in front of her. Ooh, and this must be... Who is this? Hera. Spending a... F they spend the focus. I think you're debating the ability use? Yeah, for... Yeah, for Jess. Yeah, why the hell? Why not? Then scrolling it. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, it didn't. Okay. You, you took yeah. two hits. Oh, just one. Oh, right no, there it is. One. Yeah, one evade, one light, one focus. Against two. I'm not sure. Did Hair have a shot this turn? Find out. Um, the iron cannon, I think. That was very annoying. And uh, I was also worried about that. That was my anti... My an Oh, now you use your ability. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's was happening, Anna. She was getting shot a lot. So... So yeah, your iron cannon was your anti ace. Supposedly, yeah. It's supposed... Since the new ruling is that even Poe doesn't... Well, does this post still work with Ionize? I mean, does he get to still do his tricks? No, I think the ruling is he only... can only do focus. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. that was my one of my anti ace things, just in case. And actually, I was kind of hoping I, in in case you brought a wings, because those things are hard to catch, and that was my anti a wing. 
Yeah. They do that also great and they're digging shit backwards. Yep. Hard to predict. The only way to get them is to ionize them. I think. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that was stopping me from using 5 e wings was the scarcity of advanced optics. Because you can only get two in the conversion kit. And I didn't want to buy another conversion kit just to get two more. So I was just hopefully hoping for a ship expansion that will have more advanced optics. Okay, wait. I think, um, who's shooting now? I think Tamman's shooting? And now uh, you're debating your target, I think. So who are you thinking of? Sh what was your thoughts? What was running through your thoughts during this time? I was debating on hitting Jake. But the three red... The three green tokens were worrying me a bit since he had a, he had a focus. What did I shoot? With how many did you roll? Was that two? two? Yep, you shot wedge. I flipped on wedge. Oh wedge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's because um, ten minutes directly in front of wedge. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It was my only target at the time. Like for the rest of the squad. I think you could just no, 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 take it out of arc. Take us forward. Oh, is he? Yeah, because yeah, I would definitely would have shot Jake with the entire list if I could. So I figured, oh. what the hate? It's not okay. every day you can shoot Wedge with four dice, so why not try? Okay, so J this is Jake shooting, and we have one card, another one on Jess. And did I use my... Yes, I think I used my crack shot. Already. And this is Jess versus Wedge, I think, still. Spending ability. A BBH. A BB charge. That's two. Oh, I'm sorry. That was... Sorry. One. One. Did I get... Just one. Two. Yeah. Ooh. I'll focus. So I spend the focus to prevent the damage, yeah. So there are perks to rolling badly. You get the severe focuses for defense. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And eventually, you know, the dice are, go are going to... The dice is going to come back. It's, you're gonna roll hot eventually. Oh wait, I just noticed. Why didn't Bastion get a target lock on Hera a while ago when the damage when she was damaged? Ah, okay. Um the rule for Bastion is it has to be range one to two. I believe Hera was at range three, so I couldn't get target lock a free target lock off. Oh, okay. Okay, just one. Oh. Oops. Uh, this is <laughs> having difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Excited. That was <laughs> yeah, still a blank. So I think someone else gets a hit. Yep, so another one goes through to Wedge here. Oh, yeah, so now the Bastion ability triggers and you get the target lock on Wedge. Yeah. Huh? Because you're close enough. Hmm. So I'm going to up so I think the balance has shifted a little, maybe a little bit in my favor. But I think yeah. it's still pretty even at this point. Uh-huh. Yeah, but yeah, I, this this was definitely a round. You were able to push damage through Jess. And I didn't do a lot. Maybe three, three damage off Wedge, I think. And yeah, and three damage on Wedge, and then you um, damage the shield on Nora. 
Jake. Yeah. I don't know damage on Jake. Hmm. So what do you think you're thinking in this thing? Honestly, I had no idea because <laughs> um, I just realized how screwed I was with Finn. And, you know, I, for the rest of the match, I only had three ships with me. I was trying, trying to think as hard as I could the best way to move Finn around. It also didn't help with Nora was parked in front of Finn, so I couldn't get a better angle by backing to the left. Finn's left anyway. So yeah, that sucked. I wasn't expecting Nora to go that fast. Mm-hmm. Basically, um, I was just trying to make a kill box and hopefully someone's inside the box after that. How about you? Well, at this point, um, I was still trying to get at Jess. <laughs> I think Jess was still my primary target at this point. Um, but, of course, um, I think I'm already planning at this point that I should trigger Leia and get behind your ships as, as soon as possible. Actually, for this list, um, Jess is the wrong target because something that Ellie has done before was to kill everyone else except Jess because when Jess is alone she has no abilities because she needs people by her side to have any power at all yeah true but I think at this point I mean the only one I really damaged is Jess though so I think focus fire on the week weekend ship yeah, yeah that's true there's this value in getting a ship off the board Actually, yeah, I was pretty happy that I wasn't going to be dealing with Finn this turn. Tar- this turn, I knew that he was not really in the picture. Um, actually, I was thinking that Temin might uh, Temin might do a talent roll. I think, yeah, I was like, kind of expecting talent rolls and barrel rolls here already. Uh, barrels or key turns, but yeah, I th- I think a key turn because if I think Damon will do a key turn, Jess will do a talent roll, and Bastion will just move forward. Just because that forms a a three pointed kill box for me. Hopefully, someone's in the middle after after all that. Fair enough. I think what would have been a cool thing to do. I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure if this would have worked, but if maybe Bastion would have turned instead to block Wedge from K turning or Bastion. Jake to turn to the left. Yeah. Uh... Because I, I think at this point you're already expecting the K turns right and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, there's a chance that you could actually block me. Just your ship yeah. first. Yeah, it's um, it's something I need to work on with this list because with this list, because I usually I face off with someone, I start deleting ships. I I I don't I don't face a lot of opponents that are as tough as your list, which is you know still interesting because. It just shows that even though I've had 22 games with this list, I still there's still more to learn. Fair enough. Usually you'd and, be playing against Hernani, right? Yeah, Hernani mostly. And uh, his his lists they're usually um, two to three. Against any of my other lists, I would lose, but against this particular list, he had a hard time. So. Yeah. And for this guess. game, mm-hmm. oh, what's happening? Oh, sorry, uh, for I this think game, Jess is making uh-huh. key turn. What you were saying? Okay. Uh, for this game, sometimes I have a bad habit of flying on autopilot, and 
I uh, I yeah, I should have been able to think of your suggestion of you know, but instead of doing the kill box, which is the automatic response, maybe I should have started blocking people off. Yeah. It's well, let's see what happens there. with the rest of the ships. But I don't I don't think it was necessarily bad. I think most of them. I think. Oh. Right, where are the maneuvers here? Oh, I think. So Temin didn't make a. Ah, uh, all right. Temin stressed. That's why she didn't. He didn't perform a. I know. A oh. But he My just wish. did the one forward though. That's that's okay. That's what I'm curious about though. Ah, uh, hey, yeah, I think uh, he he passed through the degree. That's why he took a stress. Yeah, but in this turn, he just made a one forward though. Uh, I. What what would you have suggested? Maybe a one back. Mm -hmm. So get at least get an angle. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have thought of something of a blue maneuver that blocks. So you know, it's not a totally wasted action. It's just uh, in this case, that's my problem. When I'm in autopilot mode, I make the best decision tactically for that round. I don't think to the taste of the head. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So, yeah, I'm pretty even. Well, I just think that at that point, he's basically not doing anything for this turn. Because he bumped, keeps the stress. So he, uh, once again, sacrifices action even for the next turn. Because he can't do a K-turn. Yeah. try to get the reposition so I think Jake is going to try to pass a focus to someone nope doesn't and yeah too far so now Hera will just make a one bank wait maybe this isn't the turn that I do uh, Leia hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we can't see your tokens for later. I think you already used it, can you not? Oh, not yeah. Yet? Oh, maybe I used it on... Oh, yeah, I think I used it on Nora. Just for her. Yeah. And for... If yeah, that's because the Nora... case, then why did... If that's the case, yeah. then why did Hera yeah. get a stress? <laughs> huh. Oh, well. It's yeah. called another part. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Nora to just keep catering. I was expecting her to swing, um, swing slowly, use the back arc. Yeah, this this was pretty aggressive. Yeah, so definitely no. Le Leia was activated in the last turn, I think. Uh huh. Yes. So only Nora. Yeah, Nora didn't get a stress. Why did Hera get stress? Hmm. Must have been wrong thing on my part. Anyway. Was that Hera? Because hmm. I made... Because I turned a one bank because I need to get rid of the stress. For Hera. Uh -huh. Yeah, it must have been a missed call. Yeah. Okay, so now we have Wedge. Ooh. Such a... Delicious ship right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> at, at this point, obviously, I'm just gonna shoot whatever's in front of me. Yeah, I mean, what does Wedge have that shot? Oh, he doesn't. He, 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 no, it was on Nora. Ah, wait. No, I don't. It think was so. on Jake. Oh wait, I did have crack shot. Why isn't it here? <laughs> Is it? Okay. Oh man. Yeah. I sent it there. So I forgot to put it in the list. Yikes. That was not crazy scary though. Minus two dice. But, you know, at this point, 
uh, who is this? Temin? Temin is super healthy still. He'll survive this for sure. And you triggered the heroic, which, or, and you only took one damage from that one. And now, Hera will I try to ionize you. I think she does. That's two hits. So just, yeah, two. Oh, wait, three. And heroic. Oh. That's twice heroic in a row. Is it? Oh, right. Yeah. But I, oh wait, I no, Tamin doesn't have heroic. Yeah, yeah, only Tim is heroic. That's why I didn't roll again. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it keeps that's, that's something that. I missed. Yeah, that's something I missed from my old list with uh, Jess and the boys. Everyone has heroic. So Tamin should not have re-rolled a while ago. Oh, he did. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh well, it's fine. Oh wow, what's this? For three hits? I think this is Nora, actually, with no... Oh no, you're shooting, you're shooting, sorry. This yeah. is Temin shooting at someone, I think. Uh, shooting at Nora, so you took out Nora's shields here. Yeah, and yeah, that kind of gave me hope, because you know, it's one point away from half the point. At this, this point, is I was just trying to get Jess. that point. Ooh. So I was curious, so Jess's ability doesn't trigger on herself, right? And she doesn't no, get... yeah, it has to be other ships. Uh -huh, okay. That's why, yeah, she's pretty much useless when she's the only ship on the board. Okay, however, oh, at this really point, how, yeah. at this point, you know, you're still leading. 50 to 27, although it's not yet updated, though. Yeah, but I, there were... As you said, there were um, pretty inefficient moves with Temin and Finn, and that really did help me a lot. There, they were firing at targets, and that gave, that helped swing the momentum too. That's just you know, for the purposes of that round, they didn't matter. It's a tough one. <sighs> Although Temin was able to push damage in, but he took more damage then. So this is where the point swung. Yes. Uh, the five points I have. It's still pretty and close. At time, yeah, at the time it's really hard to tell. I wish, you know, they changed the rules about taking notes on points. Right, because the current rule is you should be able to do it all in your head. You're not allowed to take notes on points during the match. Really? But um, so okay. So even if you're in a live stream, you can't find out what your points is. Yeah. Well, the the, the rule is you're not supposed to take notes. But maybe you can you can do it in your head. But yeah, I I I heard his name is cost on this cat. This is discussed on Ghost Podcast. Uh, they were talking about, or Fly Better Podcast, they were talking about technicalities on when to take points. And I believe Newton was saying that that's why he was always making sure to note all the points at the start of the match because it was the only time he could, you know, write them down. Actually, I. I actually bought this token from Raph, this dial. It's a points Ooh. dial. Oh wow, really? Yeah, so whenever you damage someone, you just move it. It's a maximum 200 points. So you know at least, hey, he's around 200. Uh, you're damaged at least 50 or 60 or something like that. Oh yeah, that, that helps. Even if it's not accurate, you get a rough figure yes. on where you are, yeah. So is that just for your ship or your opponents as well? Uh, for your opponents, actually, I think I, I use it because you should. It's more common that you know your own ships as points, right? So, you know where you're at. So it's to take note of your opponent's damage. Ah. Ooh. 
Since you're making killing selling those, I'd like to buy one. Uh, it, yeah, maybe I should. We should price it on the next league. It's a bit pricey though. I bought it for like 300 pesos. Oh, so is it is it a dice or uh, what does it what is it, does it look like? It's it's like a maneuver dial, except what's on the maneuver is numbers. Ah, okay. And it's acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic. Mm. It's yeah. for it's for whenever the lists are too too me too complicated for me to re remember. I try to use it, but recently I haven't though. Uh, any particular reason why? Um. I don't know. Sometimes I feel when I play that I count too much on the points and I start to worry about the points. Sometimes I I also hurt myself in terms of I'm not just going for it. Are you trying to be too defensive? Yeah, maybe. I become sometimes when you become too defensive, suddenly you just you worry, you know, you're not going for it, taking risks. That's true because when you know you're Behind on points, that's when you take more risks. Because if you keep doing the same safe moves, you're never going to win if you're behind. Yeah, so using that uh, dial for me has been um, both pro and con, to be honest. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me feel like, uh, I don't know, it makes me wor worry too much about what, am I, what I should be doing. Uh. Well, for me, you know, I, I think the information will be nice, so I know that if I know how risky I should go. But yeah, I, I can see I can see your point. Maybe when I see the actual points, I'd be more timid than usual because it's it's different to have a rough feeling on how many points they are in your head than you know to see the actual points with your eyes. Yeah, I think it's more difficult. So, uh, if you want, I can lend it to you, actually. I'll lend it to you next yeah, time sure. we see each other. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, hey, let's, give, let's give it a whirl. Okay, so what's going on here? So, we had Finn finally clearing all the stress. It took <laughs> yeah. a while, but he's like way out there. Yeah. And then we had um, Bastion still, um, still going through the debris, practically lived there. <laughs> <laughs> And Temin also making one forward to clear the stress. So, what was your thinking on the one forward for Temin here? Weren't you worried want... that he was gonna get shot? Yeah, and just wanted to clear the stress as well. Again, um, yeah, I at this point I could see the writing on the wall, and also one of my bad habits is when I know I'm losing, I just don't. Think as hard because I pretty much accepted it. Yeah, maybe I should have I should have uh, fought harder. Well, in case you haven't noticed, Pau, it's a very close match. E even though that you did make some mistakes, I think it was still it could have been anyone's game if the T seventies could have, you know, uh, shot down Hera or someone earlier, right? Yeah, um, at the time I really couldn't see it, but playing here with the points visible, I didn't think it was this close. I, I actually, yeah, I didn't know I had, I had, I, had, I thought the gap was wider. You mean in my favor? You thought? Yes, yes. Uh, I didn't realize that we were just five points apart at this point. If I well, if, well yeah. actually, this hasn't been updated yet because. You know, I update it at the end of each round, so All right. <laughs> so there could be some variance there, but I think it's not much. I'm sure if you've taken down, if you took down hair earlier, that's definitely a big boost to you, and it would have been much closer at this point. We'll find out after shots have been fired, but at this point, um, we can see that most of my ships, I think we're trying to aim for... I think that's Jess. Jess Pava there. It's... Yep, I think that's Jess. And then the one who's facing away is Bastion. Or is that Bastion? Oh man, 
get get so confusing because they're all T seventies. <laughs> yes, and they are all at the opposite side of the camera, away from the camera. Okay, so somebody shot. I think that's Wedge. He got one hit, two crits. Oh, and to nice. Bastion, to Bastion. Yeah. Okay. So luckily, at this point, Bastion is still fully shielded, so he just lost all his shields. Yeah, that that extra half point really makes a difference for the seven. And I think Nora is shooting next. Okay, this is one, two. With no modifiers, he was able to get three hits. Just wow! Uh, uh. It was nice. Oh, what and you you got one hit, one blank. So that's one more damage to Bastion. Which, in, if you, in fairness, it's kind of distributed because like everyone has like one to two, two damage at most, I think. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, uh, except Finn, because Finn's taking it easy the entire game. Yeah. That. Well, yeah. I already saw that one coming a mile away. <laughs> I was like thinking. I was thinking though, does uh, Finn have like a reverse, like not just a straight reverse, but like a turned reverse? Unfortunately, no. It's for the transport pod. For the I mean, for the transport ship. For the transport pod, it's it's, a, it's like a crappier X-wing dial. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and I'm guessing this is. Um... Oh yeah. Okay, this is uh, once again Hera. But using the iron cannon, so uh -huh. ionizing yeah, Bastion. And now we have last Jake. So Jake is picking his targets. So he'll probably go into Bastion still, right? Good. Or he has two hull in him. Uh, two, yeah. And Ooh. he's got an eyeball and. And it's like just one eyeball. <laughs> okay. Oh, and he blocks oh, it. Okay. And now just Pava gets to shoot back. He's, I think. I know it's uh, Tamin first. Uh, no, Tamin's facing. He's the one facing away. Uh, oh right, shoot. Oh, so it's Jess. Okay, she's using her yeah, ability oh, yeah. to reroll. Definitely and yes. still oh. a blank. <laughs> I'm guessing this is so that's two hit it's a hit and a crit I think okay I could tell and oh I think you're shooting at oh. uh, shooting at Jake yeah, so he uses nice. his focus does he uh, yeah. or who is he shooting at Hera still I think yeah I think you're shooting <laughs> ah Next time we should really color code. You know, we last time in the Thinking Scrubs open we had those uh, mark colored markers for the ships, and we don't use them. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's. I'll try to make a conscious decision to play closer to the camera next time. <laughs> uh, it's protecting us from our own mistakes. <laughs> That's true. So, 11 minutes left, and... Hmm... I know you're saying that at this point you've given up, but I think... At this point, there's still a lot of chances for you to get back into the game. It's 29 points, but if you look at that, that's just like one wedge. If you take down... Oh, sorry. 25. No, sorry. That's one wedge and one Hera. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, true. Not that far. It's just the T70s are very tough, to be honest. That's true, the, the chassis is, is just way better than the T65. Do you think that uh, enough? we'll get a new T70 based on the Rise of Skywalker ship? Hmm. Huh. Well, there were. But oh, there were new pilots, so for all we know, it could be part of the Hot Shots expansion or oh. the new expansion. Oh, that's right. They haven't 
Did they reveal if there's a new T7? No, I don't think there was a T7 there though. I think yeah, it's the English Yeah. Is it wings? And the what? T wings, I think. Uh, or was it Y wings? I don't know. I, I think, yeah, for, for the resistance, A wings, I think. Resistance <laughs> and the bomber, yeah. Yeah. I oh, still nice. have some regret with that. <laughs> yeah, she's nice. Like, she a pilot though, you know, that's that's something that confused me because I thought she was just a gunner and then suddenly she's a pilot now. And not only that, but a initiative 5 pilot. Oh wow, <laughs> wow I, I, I didn't notice that. Yeah, for all we know, everyone in the ship could, should be trained to be a bomber and a pilot for the dungeon system. You, you never know. But yes, initiative 5 is pushing it a bit, I think. Well, what is the highest? I think the highest one is four, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or is there an existing five pilot for the resistance bomber? I don't think so. Uh, I think it's just three. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. not very high. No yeah. wonder no wonder they want to put this up high pilot. But they couldn't just think of... They couldn't find anyone who uh, in the books, I guess, or in the canon that was that good. So they just said, hey, you know, she's famous. <laughs> Yeah, and they can just, you know, include her, uh, improve her character in the novelizations anyway. Oh, so we have, um, seven, eight, less than eight minutes left on the calendar, and I can see you're thinking very much about your movements now. What's going through your mind right now, if you can remember? Huh. Hmm... Um... Oh, I'm trying to see if Finn could still turn around, maybe two turns, but it's doubtful. Uh, where is everyone? It's really hard to see at this angle. But definitely on my mind is Hera, because she's just one point away in which. Uh, I was trying to figure out where they were going, or if not, Again, a uh, former kill box with the three ships I have, and hopefully kill something. Before, uh, but at this point it's doubtful eh, because the list, this year list, is really well built against mine. Every almost everyone shoots first before me, so yeah, I, I can see that. Hmm, what would have been the appropriate strategy? If I were in your shoes, hmm, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I think I would have used one of my ships as a blocker, and then have the other ships focus fire on someone. Like Wedge, to be honest, he's very fragile. Once he's not, he doesn't have any mods, and uh, he's right in the thick of it right now. So. I'm thinking, yeah, probably Wedge would want to K turn at this point. So if I block him with one, of, if I use Jess, doesn't Jess have a, like a BB mech? Yes, she does, yeah. If you barrel roll right, you would have blocked that K turn. Uh, I uh, think. But of course, that's just my assumption here. It's really hard to get an angle. But I would, I think I would try for a block. Yeah, that's uh, that's also something I need to work on because um, uh, with this list, because uh, I'm used to just jousting. I um, yeah, I definitely you know I think Bastion would have been my blocker because I <clears> think <throat> without global focus is a sad thing. So and Bastion can get a free target block anyway. Yeah, or yeah, maybe just because. You're right, the uh, the BB astromic charges are so useful. <clears throat> I've never I've had very very few games where I had to use up all my BB charges. So that's definitely a point. Did you ever use them to um what do you call this? To barrel roll Jess first? 
Yeah, there, there were several instances in the past, but not in this game. I was trying to play it safe and just shoot things and keep it in reserve. But yeah, I definitely should be thinking more on bombing since I believe for this game, I have the initiative. Oh yeah, the initiative, but I'm moving first anyway more, most of the time, so yeah, I should have utilized it more. Okay, so we see, I think it's Bastion who bump forward one hmm yeah this is a tough one uh, I think uh hard to see on the angle but yeah I guess that was the only move that Bastion could do now Jess here's the critical one I think oh she's doing the bank one were you trying to try to catch um Jake here or block wedge Hmm. Um, basically, I wanted to I wanted to cast overlapping nets with my own ships. That's you know, cool. make sure that yeah, we're shooting someone. We're all shooting someone at the same time. Right. And here's the K turn from Temin. Yeah. Finally. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Yeah. Okay. Here's the A Wing doing its maneuvers. Yeah. Of course, I'm pretty sure after the points update, probably we'll get a bump of points. I, I highly anticipate it at this point. Yeah, yeah it's crazy good first points. And since the resistance is one of the uh, the bottom performing factions for this current season, maybe you know, maybe some points shaved shaved off. You think so? I thought uh, the resistance was doing pretty well. Pretty well, yes, but I think I think they're in a good place, pero. When you compare it to people in the US who are winning tournaments, it's Separatists, Empire, and the Republic. So, and then after that, I think it's um, Rebels. So, Resistance would be at the bottom half now. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I guess. It's like, um, I admit, it's like what they I hear around, it's like, all the... All the factions right now, there's not one that's not competitive. There's just some that are more competitive. And that's that's fair. I mean it's definitely better than version one where you're everyone's locked in into specific lists. I'm pretty happy with the current meta. Well, as you know, we we all have we have more factions now than <laughs> than version one. That was it's not really like you had much of a choice, though. <laughs> Admit That's it. true. Yeah, but yeah, at least yeah, most lists can work. It's not like things are crazy broken. Not like um, with the scouts and the phantoms from first edition that you know those ships really define the game. So at least here, when you're trying to meta against something, it's there's it's really. Aside from the Nantex, I, I don't think uh, there were lists that people were really looking out for. Ooh. And I think 30 seconds left, so that would make this yeah. the last round for this game. At, and I'm assuming these are the correct points for now, I adjusted them. So still a close game even in the last round, so it all comes down to the shootiness. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so Aura. So it looks like Temin and Bastion in a are in actually a position to, as you said before, make a sort of kill box. Um, but who will they get in their net? Did they make a one. Did I make a K turn with Wedge here? I think I may have. Well, 
One thing I, I was thinking at the time is I was wary about blocking the list because everyone was moving second. I've had bad experiences with playing against Aces back in version 1 where they just pretty much move however they like. So, usually for my experiences, um, when I'm in, in a scrum with people who are moving after me, it's usually just better for me to try and get fighting solutions and try to be fancy with blocking. Pero you have a point. I still should not discount blocking at all. Fair enough. But in this scenario, yeah, we're just... This is, I think the only thing I don't like about this last position is that Jess is not firing at anyone important. I think if I were to shoot at someone, I'd be either Wedge or Hera at most. I think that's where the most of your uh, major, you know, your value targets would be. Yeah, definitely on Wedge if I could help it. And Wedge doesn't have any modifiers here, so only rolling two. So, so we spend this thing is okay. So, yeah, Jess actually will live. Yep. Yeah, that's actually a bad move for me. Why did I shoot the one that has no shot on me? <laughs> uh, oh, I know, yeah. Was it because I was thinking of half pointing her? No, no, she's already half. Uh, I think what should. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Well, it's only a few points away here. My name, if you get, if you roll hot. You never know. But yeah, you're right. When, whenever possible, we should try um, shooting at people who will be shooting at us back. Hopefully, we should kill them. Okay, and oh! Who, was, who died? Um, I think that was Bastion? I think so too. Yep, okay, so Bastion got removed. That would swing the points to around uh, plus 24, 70, uh, 24, so 903 right now. Okay, so this is the. Sh the, the so this is uh, what's it called? Hera versus Jess using the using the iron cannon. But I think at this point it's irrelevant because I can't kill her with an iron cannon. So half pointing wouldn't do anything either. So yeah, at this point my shots are irrelevant now. <laughs> uh -huh. So it's around 103. But yeah, so okay, Tamin's now shooting at Wedge. Can I get lucky? Let's see. Find out Wedge still is 4 2. He's already half, so. Oh, he didn't. Wedge got lucky at this point. Hello! Yeah, that was a tough one. So. Definitely a lesson to uh, a harsh game, but uh, you know, you guys, even though we won the battle, you guys won the war. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Congratulations to, uh, once again, to Team Nabu for winning the X Wing Philippines Season 3 League Finals and Woo! being the champs overall. Yeah. Um,. Definitely congratulations to my team for um, for pulling a win because uh, <laughs> I yeah I I was just basically hurting these guys and you know they were doing most of the work I most of the credits will go to them. Uh, such a humble captain. Do you want to give them a shout out before we end the show? Okay, uh, I'd like to say hi to. In no particular order, Carlo, Hernani, 
Thank you, and... Oh no, shoot, my, my memory gap. <laughs> oh god, uh... I, I remember the face, can you help me out? Ron. Um, Ronald? Yeah, did oh, you say Ronald? Ronald. Yeah, yeah, Ronald. No, but yeah. yeah Carlo Hernani, BK, and Ronald. Yes. Thanks, uh, thanks guys for being great team members. And uh, I hope to play with you guys again soon on another team, another team game maybe. And also, uh, while we're while I have the the soap box, I'd like to thank, um, of course, the thinking scrubs for organizing this tournament. You guys are doing a lot of work here. You know, for no monetary gain, it's about passion. And I really, I try my best. I try to be vocal and support you guys, uh, however I can, uh, with what you do. It's it's not much, but uh, you know, uh, thanks for keeping it up. Well, thank you, Pao. Your feedback means the world to us. And of course, if any of you listening right now or watching uh, like our content, please like and subscribe the channel. It helps our community grow, and it helps us as the Thinking Scrubs to promote more events in the Philippines and to make the Philippines, of course, uh, a competitive member of the X-Wing community worldwide. So before we sign off, um, I'd like to thank Pao again for being my co-host for this game. And till next time, I'm Raymond and here's Pao. And I'm Paolo. And this is the Thinking Scrubs. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See ya.